Hey guys, what's going on? Back again with another video. So I just want to talk briefly about um, some ideas for The Last of Us Part 3. And just to kind of show you the time frame where we're at right now. Today's February 2nd, 2024. And earlier today, Naughty Dog released um, the Grounded 2 episode, I, I guess, or kind of like a mini series of sorts uh, on YouTube. And in the game, if you uh, bought The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered, you kind of see some behind the scenes uh, making of the game uh, for part two, the steps and phases that they go through, and then they even teased uh, part three. They mentioned that if they do make another game, it's going to be like the third chapter, which I think is a great idea because it kind of reminds me of almost John Wick and even Fortnite, where um, the assumption is part three is usually the last chapter, um, or chapter three is usually the last chapter, and then um, maybe you start over again or you start like a new set of chapters, but it does also leave some space for future chapters. You don't necessarily have to stop at chapter three. You can kind of keep going uh, like Fortnite did where it has like multiple chapters. I think they're up to chapter five now. So it does leave that space to go different routes if you if you want to. Uh, and again, like I said, today's February 2nd, 2024. Uh, that came out today and just to kind of give you some more time frame of where we're at about a year ago the show came out uh, about a year ago I played for the first time uh, I binged both of them back to back the last of us part one and part two which I wanted to do before the show came out so I had an idea what was coming and and stuff like that that way stuff doesn't get spoiled too much uh, or I kind of knew what was going on so um like I didn't know too much of the games. It was my first time playing a Naughty Dog game uh, a year ago. Uh, I kind of had some ideas, saw some stuff on the internet because I'm a huge Zombies fan. Played a lot of Call of Duty Zombies. Uh, and then also about a year ago, I uploaded a video on YouTube talking about what I would want for Part 3. And then it's it's kind of funny when you upload a video, then you go and watch other videos maybe from the devs and the voice actors because um the lucky thing is that there is a lot of videos up there on youtube that has um interviews from uh neil Druckmann, naughty dog devs and then the voice actors so i went back and i kind of matched up what i said to what they said i thought it was pretty funny that we came up with some of the same ideas and i did mention um and i do want to go over some of the stuff that i mentioned for part three kind of in that first video is that it would have been a great idea or I thought it'd be a cool idea for part three if you kind of get some sort of a flashback of what Joel went through right after Sarah died not necessarily when she died because that scene is kind of like locked in history it's a it's a great scene unfortunately um but it's still a great scene and then I would want to see kind of like what Ellie, you saw what Ellie going into the room um, or going to Joel's house when he died. You kind of see what she went through. I thought that'd be kind of great if they gave us that, but also for Joel. So I think maybe part three would be great to show the early years of Joel and Tommy uh, and maybe Tess and, and whoever, maybe even an even younger version. I know they did that with Ellie and Riley in The Last of Us Part 1, you kind of saw some early year stuff. Um, I think that's kind of great, always going back and filling in the blanks or filling in some in-between stuff that we don't get to see so much uh, in video games. So I thought that would be, and, and movies, I thought it would be kind of great to go back and show what Tommy and Ellie, uh, their kind of early years. Because when, like I mentioned before in the first video, when... Uh, Sarah dies, it jumps 20 years, I believe it jumped. So um, I thought maybe the first 10 years and then maybe the, the second set of 10 years would be kind of cool. Uh, maybe make it in like in two parts, maybe DLC. And that's the other thing too is uh, the big question is always going to be was like the part, if part two is way too long or maybe longer than it needed to be, maybe they should have kind of did some DLCs maybe lower the price or maybe for the next game um make it a certain length and then you know maybe add some dlc stuff in there maybe uh story map packs and stuff like that i think would be kind of great uh again same thing they did with part one with uh riley um in the mall and stuff like that when they they get bit for the first time i think that would be kind of great to to kind of go that route again uh, and show Again, Tommy's 
early years um, with Joel. And that'll maybe get the fans on board for another Part 3 revenge game. Um, and I, sh- I think it'd be great to show the darker side of Ellie. Uh, I know they did a lot of that in Part 2. Um, but what if like the obsession, obsession doesn't end? Um, or maybe even some sort of way like an addiction. Maybe the addiction to killing now maybe doesn't end and she needs it again kind of like what serial killers do or maybe in movies or horror stories and stuff like that um i think that'd be kind of great i think maybe even in scream i think they kind of touch on some of that stuff uh but i think it'd be great for uh for tommy and ellie to kind of go on another rampage I know Tommy's too old. Maybe Tommy recruits somebody to help Ellie get revenge. Maybe he knows of a friend, somebody younger, uh, to help Ellie and then show where Dina's at. Uh, I know Neil Druckmann did mention that part two ended how they wanted it to end. Uh, and I know Call of Duty does that pretty well now. Is A lot of stuff does end on cliffhangers, and it's up to the fans to maybe come up with some ideas. Um maybe some fan fiction of what they think would have happened to Ellie after part two. Same thing happens in Call of Duty. Some of the games run out of dev time. Uh, They move on to the next game. Uh, And then a lot of movies that happens too, where like 15 years in real life goes by and you never, you have to wait for a sequel and fans come up with ideas between then fan fictions and stuff like that happens after a movie happens. Um, And that's the thing that a lot of directors and writers say that like, they do want to make a sequel, but they're not going to make a sequel till a good enough storyline comes around or a good enough script uh, comes around for them to warrant them to make a new, a new game or a new movie or a new series or something like that. So, uh, again, I think it, it's going to be great to add on to part two if it is good enough to add on to part two. Where, um, you know, I think Ellie gets more evil and maybe. Tommy gets more evil that, um, again, it it would show that, um, what they weren't happy how it ended. I guess Tommy and Ellie and they want some more revenge, uh, I think would be also kind of great. I kind of draw, drew some parallels between the game and Star Wars, the prequel stories uh, for Star Wars, where, um, you see Ellie young and then you see her almost in her teen and 20 years. And then eventually you see, um, you, maybe you see Ellie older, kind of like Darth Vader where you see Anakin young Anakin in their twenties and then Anakin older as Darth Vader. I think that'd be kind of great. I I think it'd be a, a terrible idea to make part three. Um, if, If it doesn't show Ellie, because I think even the writers mentioned that Ellie is the villain. I know they tiptoed around it, but I think a lot of videos and time have passed where maybe even Neil Druckmann and some of the writers have said that Ellie is the villain. Um, You just kind of see the different perspectives um, because every villain does have an origin story. And I think it'd be great if we do get an an Ellie as a villain, like a full-blown villain, like like Darth, I'm just gonna, you know, just tackle it head on. Like Darth Vader, make her have like a new costume, no more street wear. Maybe she goes really crazy. Um, even like the Dark Knight Batman, um, vigilante style, where maybe she goes crazy and wants to create a whole costume for herself, but not like a comic book costume, like just something that she's known as now. Maybe even like a military, not to say military people are evil, but like something like that where it shows her as a villain like you know she's a villain now maybe even she has like a a mask on or something crazy like that because funny enough most of the villains do end up having masks um on and stuff like that so i think that would be kind of a a great idea if they kind of just go ellie as a full-blown ellie and tommy as a full-blown villain um where they're running their own crew now Maybe they're head of the fireflies, and it's gonna be fireflies versus wolves, um, or something like that. I don't know how big the wolves are, um, but I think it'd be kind of great to have Ellie as maybe the villain um, and the head of her own group, whatever group you want to call it, 
and then going after Abby. And I wouldn't necessarily make the whole entire game about going back after Ellie. Maybe make it halfway through where you get a conclusion and then maybe um or they they team up or, or whatever, but then that she wouldn't be a villain, but um uh, or they could maybe form like a super team of villains. Um where you could also go that angle where maybe Ellie's group teams up with Abby, but then people might get upset. Um, or maybe, maybe she kills Abby and then, um, maybe she kills Abby and then takes over the wolves and as, cause that happens in movies. I think once you kill the, the head of a group, then they, now they want you as the leader, uh, maybe or something like that. Or they, they, maybe they didn't like Abby as a leader and they want to join Ellie's group. Uh, so those are a couple of things. Like I said, the main thing would be flashbacking to the early years of Joel and Tommy, kind of maybe get the fans on board maybe show the brotherhood uh that ellie law i know the game showed between father and daughter with both ellie and and joel and then abby and her dad maybe this will be more like a brotherhood where it can kind of show you why tommy wants revenge because we know why ellie wanted revenge maybe they'll show why tommy wants revenge and maybe tommy's gonna help you know, Ellie go again after, and then maybe you get a conclusion halfway through, and then the game goes on to another part of the story. Um, I think it'd be great. And if you hear a lot of noise outside, I'm actually just sitting in my car. I figured I'd do this. I tried recording it before, um, but something got messed up. So, again, those are just some quick ideas uh, for part three. I think could be a. Mi- I don't know if it'll be necessarily a missed opportunity, but. I think fans want to see what really happened. And even the way part two ended should have probably teased that there's going to be a part three. Maybe kind of get everything together. Um, I think would have been a great idea to kind of show that there was more that was coming. Uh, So I think it'd be great to kind of show. I think if any trailer comes out for part three, it has to show Ellie full-blown villain full bone still on a rampage maybe got even worse um no more like in between stuff where you're trying to figure out is she good is she bad uh i think it'd be kind of a good uh arc character arc or villain arc uh to show that ellie is truly evil now and it could be based because you do have friends that you know from high school and then you see how maybe they got worse or friends from high school or people you knew of when you're younger maybe even an athlete an actor um you know how they kind of everybody kind of goes down that path and you see how it evolved over years uh, especially when stuff happens in the news you kind of see how yeah that person was like that as a kid they got a little bit worse when they were older and then they got even more worse when they were older uh and, and stuff like that but then again i think more most kids are born innocent but the stuff that they go through builds them into uh the villain i think it'd be kind of great to show that uh anyways this will probably evolve again. I'll probably make an update, but I'll see you guys later.